Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sewa Justice Yao. On today's episode of Chat with the Pixels, we have an amazing photographer who started up as <laughs> a chartered accountant. Like seriously, uh, well, we have doctors who are into photography, so um, I don't think it will be much of a surprise to us. Let's wait and then hear from him. He has an amazing story to tell us. Supporting us today on this show is Continental Hotel. They are located at Akosombo off the Atimpoku Road. Anytime you want to have fun, relax, swim, and have a boat cruise, just contact them. Before you leave this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell as well. Without much ado, let's jump straight into today's, you know, amazing story of a chartered accountant stroke, a photographer. Hello guys, my name is Solomon Kojo Usu Afari Boahene. I'm from the eastern region of Ghana. I come from a small town called Kouchin Rasing in the eastern region. And I am. <laughs> Most of you will want to know my age, right? Let's keep that. I started my basic education from Koforidia. Bent Coast Preparatory School. And from there, I came to VR GSS Complex in Akosombo to complete my GHS education. From there, I went to St. Peter's Secondary School, where I completed at the School Professor of St. Peter's. Um, from there to, I went to Koforia Poly, where I was doing um, my Chartered Accountancy course. In the course of doing my chartered accountancy course, I decided to go to Central University, where I pursued my Bachelor of Science in Banking and Finance. So yes, I'm supposed to be a banker, right? But whilst pursuing my degree in banking, I developed a taste for photography. So I was a kid who was always going around campus, taking pictures of every other member of my class. Initially, people were apprehensive. Actually, I just loved it. And by the mid of the, the first semester, I had taken pictures of every member of my class. Now, I compiled it and I gave it to them. And now they saw the importance of what I was doing. They all liked it because I took good pictures with my camera. And it was memorable. So they loved the whole concept of having a whole compilation, a whole album of all the classmates who came to the school within that period. With time, I met um, a gentleman called Rex. God bless you, Rex, wherever you are. Rex actually was in Central University, also pursuing Bachelor of Science in English. And he was also in the movie industry. He was already in the entertainment industry. He was friends with Ignis, who was also from Foresight TV. And he invited me one day, told me to take some pictures of him. Then, boom, it was like, the pictures are great, and he has a deal for me. You see, Foresight TV was already doing well, and wanted to expand, they wanted to do something greater. And they were coming up with that Foresight Music Video Awards, so it was an opportune time to get a lot of people on board. Now, Rex being Ignis's friend, also wanted to do a Foresight magazine. So that's where I came, I came in. So Rex asked me to go to Ignis, who was also busily preparing for Foresight Music Awards. 
I met him at the conference center where he was very busy, very, very busy. And I, <laughs> I was intimidated. So and when I got there, I, I, I remember the, the first experience. And you know, I, I greeted Ignis and Ignis, Ignis was like, huh? What? What do, you, what, what do you want? I was like, oh, um, Rex told me to come and meet you and take some pictures of your event. I was like, ah, okay, Rex, Rex, okay, okay. And that was how it all started with the Foresight group. It was very interesting. And I took the pictures. I think the pictures were very okay. I met a guy called Sadek. Bless up, Sadek. Sadek also showed me a whole lot in Foresight TV. He was a great guy. He was doing his animations. He was doing his graphic motions. He was doing, he was doing a whole lot. So he takes pictures, he does the videos, he does a lot of it. So directly I was working with Sadek, who is, who is called Mario. And uh, Foresight Music, I, I was started, Foresight program started. We, we were doing a lot of stuff. He, he would send me on the, on the field to take a lot of pictures so that he, um, Mario, could edit for on behalf of Foresight TV. So it exposed me to a whole lot of programs that was happening within that period. Ghana Music Awards, uh, Miss Malaika, uh, any, any, any competition at all. So it got to a point where Rex also started his own film school, Accra Film School. A, I, I'm telling you, it's a great, great school. And I, have, I had the privilege of working with him and um, Uncle George of Blessed Memory. We used to call him um, Old Foggy. May God rest his soul. And yeah, we had a, a nice time there. Then he came up with Trailer TV. I know that very interesting um, TV program. And we did it for quite some time. Then there was this Nigerian company that came to Ghana. We met by coincidence in front of the studio I was work, working in. They did an interview of me and they had a program, a very great program. In fact, God bless them. God bless the, the whole crew. John Luke, um, 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 Isaac. Yes, Isaac. They, they, they were good chaps and we started working. We started doing some things. And the program was called Views and Tunes. So at a point, I was just I just got on board and I was doing photography for them. Then at a point to start doing interviews with them. And it was also another great, great, great opportunity to work with people who were already in the industry and to learn from them. I learned a great deal from those Nigerians. Serious, like I learned a great deal from them. But moving forward, I told you, I studied banking and finance. So it was banking and finance that I was looking. Um, I was looking out to be a banker or work in a, a law firm as the accountant or in a hotel as the accountant. Any, any place I could have worked as an accountant, I would have worked at, like that. But, well, God has a definite plan for everybody, everyone, and how his journey is supposed to be. So, well, I came out to do my national service. I was a teacher. Then after national service, I was not really finding my bearing. So from time to time, I still go to Accra take pictures of events that are happening because already I had established the link between myself and the entertainers there. Then, then, this idea dropped into my head. Why not do the photography? Why not do it like for real? Here's is hard because life is now happening. Why not make good use of the opportunity that you are having? And the opportunity I was having was photography. So, um, there was this ferry that used to cross over the Volta Lake into the Volta region. That's when the Adomi Bridge was being constructed. Uh, reconstructed, I mean, it was going through a, a maintenance phase. So why not? Why not try your luck there? But then there were a whole lot of things that was going through my head. I've been a photographer. I've, 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 I've been doing photography in the entertainment world, in the industry where everybody is either pretending he's a big person or actually he's a big person. And where I I had to also try to fit in at all costs. And I'm going to move from that place to come and take instant pictures at 
The fairy. I, I, I was thinking it was the meaning. Then, yeah, the, 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 the fact that I had taught students and those students might also pass by. The fact that I had been a school professor in Peters. But then, they didn't really matter. All that mattered was the fact that I was, I, I'm supposed to be able to raise funds to pay the bills that are coming in, right? So, I, I made a smart choice by coming down to start the photography here. But because I was not prepared for uh, the instant type of photography, I came with only a camera. Then I convinced a friend who was also having um, the printer to come along with me. We got here, we started working. Surprisingly, the first three days, made me earn a huge amount of money that was like three times the amount of i was being paid as a teacher can you imagine that I, I i couldn't have imagined that that would ever happen to me so moving forward now the job was good it was going great i was still doing my weekend gigs sometimes going I, I i go to accra that's if there's a big program in accra i still go to the conference center to attend to um, whether it's miss ghana whether it's um foresight music video awards whether it's the ghana music awards whatever it is i tried to just partake in it but then my focus had not shifted from the fact that i was really making money from the ferry it was yes at times it felt demeaning at, at times it felt challenging to I meet some of my mates. Lecha, you remember meeting me there? Papus, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I met some of my former seniors. I met some of my juniors. I met some of my mates. Uh, yeah, really, it was not a nice ex experience when you meet them because I had to. This how this how really the job there was like. I mean, the boats, um, the, the ferry comes to the uh, edge of the river, the other side of the river picks enough cars, move them over to the other bank of the river, then they move on. Now, for my job as a photographer there was to try convincing people who are passing by to make memories of the, this whole thing that was happening there. So that if the ferry ends, the, the, the whole ferrying of um, trucks, cars and human beings to the other side ends, they have a memory of whatever happened there. And it's not easy to convince people to take pictures. It's not easy. With the advent of good phones and this new modern type of um, smartphones. But, I mean, I, I think God was just watching out for me. He was just doing a great thing for me. So I gathered enough money in preparation, in preparation of, uh, for where I am right now. And where I am right now is having my own studio where my, my studio has become a household name everybody talks about it i do my i, I do my, my my guests around i get to take pictures of great and amazing people around the chiefs the the the, the mps the district executive and it's not only one chief executive i mean the changing phases of oh, oh.